Hi there. Today I'd like to show you how to use the histogram in helping you edit your image. The histogram is this graph in the upper right hand side of the panels. And on the left side of the histogram, it shows you the value or how much of the image is in the dark range. The left side is the dark side. Right side is the light side. And you can see that I don't have many lights or even midtones in this image. Most of them are over here in the darks. Now one of the things that I always look for in an image is good contrast. Because good contrast helps your image pop and it just makes it a little more appealing. It's not quite so flat. So in this image, I've got some black clipping that I'll address in just a few minutes. But the other thing I want you to look at is that over on the right side, I don't really have many lights. So I could use exposure and bump this over a little bit to really make the most of the lights in my image. And that's okay, except that my goal for this image is not to have the viewer see too much of the other supporting elements. I want them there in the image, but I don't want them to steal the show. So I'm going to keep my exposure back where it was at the zero line. The other thing that I can do is try to use the highlights slider and pop that up a bit to help bring out some contrast as with the whites. Now I'm purposefully not using the contrast slider here because I like to work within this panel of the highlights shadows, whites, and blacks. Those relate directly to the histogram areas up here. So you've got uh, the blacks, the shadows, the uh, whites, and highlights. So that's where we're working on this particular image. Now, I'm liking what uh, bumping those sliders has done. I think that's great. The other thing that will help add some contrast is clarity. So I'm going to slide that over just a bit as well. And now I want to check my um, blacks because I still have some clipping there. So by coming down to the blacks, I'm going to pull this down and see where the little uh, indicators come first. And there they are. So what I can do while I've got my black slider highlighting these blacks is come get my brush and use the lighten or I could go actually to blacks because that's really all I want to address right now and pull those up a bit. I think I'll pull them up about 20. And then all I need to do is just start brushing in those areas where those black clipping uh, indicators are showing. So I go through the image and try to address these as best I can. And if one pass doesn't do it, you can do uh, go over it one more time by clicking on new and then go over going over those areas again but one time took care of them and so i'm going to release my brush and come back to this black slider and now pull it up to uh, the normal range again it's still showing a little bit of black clipping so i'll bring it up to about 12 15 and see if that helps it's still showing, so I'm going to bring it back down and go over one more time with the brush, trying to reduce the clipping in this image. I don't want to go over the whole image because, as I said earlier, I don't want those elements to be too visible to the viewer, so I just want to address those areas that are really clipping. Okay, let's see how that does now. Pull my blacks back up to the normal area and that's looking much better. And I actually have to come up to 26 to really get rid of them. Normally I wouldn't do that. So actually, let's see. One more pass. Um, got ahead of myself here. Okay, one more. Pull it down again, <clears throat> and reduce this. Okay. 
Okay, I'll release that, release the blacks, and we're looking better. I'm going to bring that up just a little bit. I'm going to bring the shadows down, and I'm going to check on the whites and the highlights a little bit. I'm also going to bring the exposure down, watching for clipping, and that looks okay. I can bring the shadows up just a little bit. So you can see, you just have to kind of play with it and see what steps you need to take to get the desired result that you want. I feel like this is still a little too light. I think this is okay and the book is okay, but this is still a little too light. So I'm going to come to the radio filter here and address that. And I need to invert that and We'll go to making it darker, and I think that should do, maybe down a little bit more. Pulling down the highlights, the whites, and the exposure just a little bit on that. And I like that. The other thing I want to check, now that I have my exposure well, I want to check on the uh, composition and that's pretty good. I'm going to pull this in a little bit because I really want the highlight of the can or the vase to be on the rule of thirds and then the hydrangea is following this area third line. So that that works for me. I think that's good. The other thing I'm going to do is add a little bit of a vignette. Still watching for clipping and see how that looks. So now I'm really happy with that. What I don't like is that you can't really see the rim and the handle of the vase or pitcher anymore. So using my brush tool, I'm going to lighten those areas just a little bit, just so that the viewer doesn't have to search for that. And I'm gonna go over it a couple of different times by clicking new on the brush and just continuing to layer the highlights back on this. In fact, I'm going to bump up highlights a little bit here and whites and go over that little area one more time just so that um, that handle shows a little bit better. And then just by playing with the sliders to kind of see what that's doing always helps. So that's how I would adjust the exposure in this image. I hope that helps. Be sure to use your histogram to help you with um, getting as much as you can out of all those pixels that you've captured. Thanks for watching and I will talk to you later.